Hello Star Wars fans and collectors, it's me Jenna Master 98 back again with another Star Wars figure review. In today's Star Wars figure review we're going to be taking a look now at some more characters from the Ahsoka TV show and the character we're going to take a look at today is this one. It is General Hera Sindula from the Ahsoka TV show. Now this is Hera's appearance in the Ahsoka TV show, like with Sabine Wren, obviously this is a live action version of this character that has been brought to the big screen. Hera Sindula is obviously in her flight suit, where obviously she's got her jacket and her trousers, obviously iconic to the Rebel series. She does come with a little accessory, which is her blast pistol, which can be holstered in the holster there on the right hand side of her leg. In terms of the figure, really nice posability, uh, one accessory and obviously some nice artwork on the jacket itself. The figure's nice and obviously Hera did have an appearance or a couple appearances in the show. Really cool, the actress was really good who portrayed her and overall I'm really pleased with my purchase. So that's Hera, we'll take a look at this character in a few moments but let's take a look at the vintage card that comes with this figure. As you see, this is the vintage collection card for Hera. You've obviously got the Soka name at the top there, the name of the character there, the plastic bubble that protects the figure, the Kenner logo, and an image of the character in action. If I turn the packaging round, as you see, it's slightly different to the other vintage collection figures. Basically, what I mean there is, is obviously they've reverted back to, I believe, the old system on the vintage card, where obviously they've given you a brief description on the vintage collection, what's going on and everything. You've obviously got an image of the character there and the legal stuff there and a little bit of a different colour as well. Obviously this character has purple on the front as well. So it's slightly different to what they've done with other figures packaging. So if I just give you an example here, obviously you've got Grand Admiral Thrawn's figure packaging there in terms of colouring and obviously the deco at the back. Whereas obviously with Hera, you've got that, and you've obviously got another bit there, which is quite cool. Don't get me wrong, this is okay, but it's nice to see that they've gone to sort of like back to basics, really, with the colour scheme and what's going on with the back there. So that's nicely done, but I like it. It's different, and um, it sort of like pays homage to the old days, really. So it's a nice touch there from Hasbro, and the packaging's decent, really. So you've got a brief description there. Basically, all it says at the back is obviously a name. Uh, since 2010, the vintage collection has paid homage uh, to the iconic Kenner toy era of Star Wars history. VC 300 celebrates a line with General Harrison Duda for the first time on a TVC card back. And obviously that is in multiple languages as well. So that's packaging for General Hera Sen Duda. Let's take a look at this figure in more detail. I'm going to start off with the articulation. There's movement at the top of the head, movement on top of the shoulders, elbows and the wrists. Torso is movable, movement in the legs, movement in the knees and movement in the ankles. Obviously she does come with a blast pistol there that can be removed and placed in the holster there. And obviously on the jacket you've got some really nice markings and patches. So I'll just give you a zoom in on the overall detail. So obviously this is Hera's appearance. Really cool likeness there. You've obviously got goggles at the top there. And you've got some nice patches on the side there. I believe I'm right in saying that that little patch on the front there is sort of like a rank. And obviously you've got the rebel symbol there. On the left, you've got a mark in there. Not entirely too sure what that is. But obviously on the back you've obviously got some markings there which is nicely done as well. Jacket is sculpted nice, really nice shade and really nice texture. And obviously moving down you've got the holster and the orange trousers with black boots. And it's just a nice figure of hair, really nice lightness to the actress and um, got some really nice paint apps going on, little hints, little patches of white there which is really, really cool. It would have been nice if the goggles could sort of come loose and move down, but 
it is what it is. But I think the uh, packaging and obviously the figure, which is obviously the main part, is really nice. The colour system is really nice going on. And obviously it's nice to see Hera in live action. Obviously she does have a young son in the series. And obviously she's the mother of the group, looking after all the gang. Obviously uh, she got on really well with Kanan, but obviously unfortunately got killed off in Rebels. But in terms of a character, sort of very mother feel and a very caring character, Hera is. And obviously she's a general as well, so when things are going wrong she can suit up and uh, fly into the stars and basically do a good job for her friends and the rebels. So that's pretty much it for Hera Sindula. Like the character development in the series, really nicely done and really pleased with the purchase of this figure. So that's been Hera. I'll be back with many more Star Wars reviews very soon. Be sure to obviously subscribe to the channel, follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and I will see you in the next review. So take care, look after yourself, and as always, may the force be with you.